guys welcome back to my channel today is a little bit different because I just want to give you a little bit of a, of a story on, on one of our on one of our clients okay I'm I'm here in my diabetes clinic room but we weren't gonna be talking about diabetes today so you are all aware that aside from diabetes I also specialize in alcohol and drugs recovery okay and I see clients out in the community, I visit them at their places and help them recover from alcohol and drug addiction. Okay, so see this group of people are well misunderstood. A lot of people would think that oh this this person is addicted to alcohol or this person is addicted to drugs, that they are they're sort of like the lowest type of people in the community. That is the stigma. There is still a stigma. And this, like what I said, these people are misunderstood. These people are some of those, you know, groups of people in the community who are vulnerable. They need to be understood. You actually need to know their story on why they engage in, you know, in such activities. See, knowing their story behind their alcohol and drug addiction is very important. That's the only way for you to know and understand where they came from. A lot of these people consume alcohol because they, they know that it's only alcohol that can help them. They know that it's only drug that can help them forget, a lot, forget about their concerns and, and prob problems in life. And, and this need to be considered before people will, will judge this type or group of people. Okay, a lot of people would say, oh, you know, these, these people, these people are so dangerous because they are drug addict, they're alcohol dependent. No, they're actually, they're actually human being. They also need treatment for them to be well. Why am I telling you this story? Because, because we have one client today whom we've tried to assist in in you know in, in treating her addiction. She used a few different types of substances cannabis or marijuana, methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin, she smokes and also she consumes a lot of alcohol. Unemployed, away from the family and, and her story in life is, is so sad, very difficult. She experienced sexual and physical abuse and she's surrounded by negative people. All right, so I've met this client of ours and we've, I've started her on a treatment. And, and she, was, she was nice. And so she started her treatment on day one, but then on day two, she did something that she thinks will make her treatment unsuccessful. So she sent me these uh, messages that that she's she's failing me because she's she's not following the requirements. She's not she's not following the treatment requirements that will assist her to be healthy, alcohol and drug free. So she stopped the treatment on day two. The treatment usually lasts for 12 days. By the way, she's also supported by NDIS. For those of you in Australia who knows um, NDIS, it's a government agency supporting people with disability, National Disability Insurance Service. So the government of Australia put funding on or money into this organization 
so that they can support their clients who's got disabilities. So she's accessed that and she's supported by the NDIS support workers. She was on a accommodation wherein there's few NDIS support workers looking after her just to make sure that she's following the treatment process and that she's she is well. So yeah, so day two she escaped. She escaped the accommodation and she went to a friend's house and pick up some drugs and maybe drink some alcohol. I don't know. So that's why she's decided to leave the treatment because she thinks she's not doing her part for her treatment to be successful. And we've accepted that because not all of the treatment are successful. Okay, not all of the treatment are successful. Not all of the clients will, will take it. And then this morning when I met up with my workmate, he told me this sad story. And I think this will be the saddest vlog or content in my channel so far. That client has actually committed suicide. I think she's overdosed herself with few tablets of off-the-street benzodiazepines, particularly diazepam, and maybe she's combined it with with few other substances, few other drugs, and it's not good. It's not a good combination because it will it will affect your nervous system, will affect your breathing, it will affect your whole body. She kept on telling me the she kept on telling me through messages before she committed suicide. This is when this is before she decided to leave the treatment that um she's not doing what she's supposed to do in order for the treatment to be successful. And for me to hear this kind of story that one of my patients committed suicide because of drug and alcohol it made me it m made me feel so useless i am here to support them i am here to to make them well and for them to for them to do silly things to to kill themselves is is sad and I feel like I'm I wasn't doing the role that I should be doing if she's only continued with the treatment probably it could have been prevented but once she's left the treatment that's it it's it's out of our control she's not under our 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 care anymore so it was a shock for me that she's actually committed suicide um so the police went to her place and you know they, there's no foul play there's no foul, foul play so this, the, 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 the police obviously couldn't get into her place. They were searching and then they, I think they found her in her bathroom, lifeless. And the, the, initial, the initial findings is that she's um, overdosed herself with a lot of drugs and medications. She didn't have any great support system. I don't think the family has supported her. In fact, she's got two two kids which were taken away from her because she doesn't have the capacity to look after them. She's unemployed, she's on drugs and alcohol. She won't be a good parent or mother to them. And she's just died without actually seeing her kids without actually making her life 
more meaningful. She's just left the world without without improving herself. And I'm just so sad. I'm sad. So hopefully it won't happen again. So for you out there, for you out there who's who knows someone who's into drug and alcohol, please do understand them. Uh, don't discriminate them. They are human. They are human being. You need to know their story in order for you to judge them. They're one of those. They're they're they're, they're one of those group of people who are vulnerable. They need to be understood. They need. You need to have this sympathy and empathy in order for you to, you know, to to understand them. Some of this, some of this, if not all of these people who are alcohol dependent and and drug addicted, they are. They have mental health or psychological co uh, issues as underlying comorbidities. They also have psychological diagnosis. They have mental health issues as well. So they could they could have anxiety, depression, bipolar, psychosis, and that won't help with the treatment at all. So my message to you guys is that. Please don't judge other people. Help other people as much as you can. Treat them as... Treat them the way you treat other people without any judgment at all. Whether they are rich, they are poor, they are healthy, they are not healthy. Regardless of their um, community, community status, please treat them with respect. Understand them. And if you can't do anything, if if what you can help them is through understanding them and not discriminating them, that's 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 more than enough. That's more than enough. And if you can prevent someone from committing suicide by just offering your time, see, even a few minutes of your time, you, you offer it to someone who is really really low really down and suffering from the inside you could prevent suicide from happening again my apologies for this vlog i'm just so sad that you know one of my clients just passed away and i just wish that i could have helped her overcome the issues that she was she was she was facing. Uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, I'll see you again in the next vlog. Look after yourself and look after one another. Bye.